Hi, welcome back to Colts KRC. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that notification bell and hit that like button. Welcome back to Colts KRC. Today we're going to have a look at the Snapchain A15F. Not something I've known to review anymore. I used to review stuff like this. If you're not new to my channel, you've watched my channel for a long time, you'll know this is the type of thing I used to review. And I got totally bored, stupid reviewing these things because they were all very much the same. But I have been sent this to review by the company, which is strange because no one tends to send me stuff anymore because they do not like my reviews because they tend to be honest. Well, they don't tend to be honest. They're always honest, which doesn't go down too well with the manufacturer who wants me to give this thing a glowing review. This one I've had no instructions while to review it. They've not told me they want me to do anything like that. So we're just going to review it, okay? So this is the A15. It comes with loads of features. It got optical position, optical flow, two cameras. Obviously, the front camera is the optical flow camera. Mark and track. In other words, it's going to follow you. Um, no GPS. So voice control, gesture for photos and videos. One key take off and landing. Circle fly. I'm just going to go in a circle about a meter away from you. Trajectory flight. So you can do waypoints, not really, you just draw a pick figure on the screen and it follows it. Headless mode, one key return, speed switch, so you can change your speed, and an emergency stop button, so it'll fall out of the sky. So let's have a look what you get inside. So you get a box within a box, which is always good. And this is what you get in the box. Set the crap out of the way, you get a set of prop guards. Only use them if you're indoors and you're very inexperienced. Do not use them outside because it's only going to make your, your, your quad fly worse and not give you a true indication of what it's like. You get a controller, you get a quad itself, you get Another battery, this is, comes with two batteries, I think they all come with two batteries. Spare set of props, and a charger. A bag to put it all in, not sure why, and a set of instructions. The user manual actually is really, really good. I like the user manual, it's actually quite a decent thing, tells you all your buttons. Nothing seems to be missing out of here. It'll tell you what you need to know how to put it in headless mode to do all the other things. There's your download for your Snapchain Mate app. I'm not going to go through that with you. But if you've flown anything like this before, I do say download the app on iOS or Android. But there, the manual is actually really, really good. It, in fact, a lot of other manufacturers for far more expensive drugs could do with having a look at this because this is how you should do a manual. This is very much done for the beginner. And this is a beginner's quad. So it's a folding quad, as tends to be the norm. If you have, I don't know, I hope you can see that top of there. So you can see that it's just shoddy the way it's painted. It really is bad. This is brand new out the box. And you can see it looks like it's been masked off where it's been painted or the stickers being put on quite badly. So yeah, it's foldable and it's a decent size when it's folded out. As you can see, it's quite a big quad. It's in this, I don't know what you call it, pewter kind of colour. Um, it has your four, it has feet on the front there, landing feet there, and at the back you have these rubbers also. It's obviously got brushed motors, not brushless. It has a camera that you have to set before you set off. I think this this one recorded 940 or 720. One of the two anyway. I'll have the full description down below of so you can see all the details. So if you're waiting for a flight video of this, there isn't gonna be one A because the weather's bad and B because I have flown it. And well we'll discuss that in a minute. So one of the nice things about this and one of the things I found that I liked most is the fact how it lights up. So it has the push button on the top, sorry, it has a 1S battery going in the bottom of here. Slides in the bottom, and that is a 1S battery, and I think it's 1100 milliamp. Yes, 1100 milliamp slotting battery, proprietary battery, which some people don't like. I don't, I don't mind it, mine. Sorry about that without focus. You can see the battery now. 
and there's its contact where it slides in just at the top there so pop that back into the quad just quite tight to push in but it makes a nice connection push button on the top hold it in and it will light up as you can see it's got some really nice bright lights two on the front you got two on the back status leds and then you have the two headlights if you like on the front to bind you turn on your transmitter and you push your throttle stick up and down again and that will bind it there's no batteries in here because i took them out but that's what it does so let's go through the controller so the controller is quite sizable, very much in this type of mould of looking like a I don't know, Xbox controller or something like that. That really feels as sounds as horrible as it feels. This is where your phone goes in. It will take quite a large phone in the top. You have left and right, you obviously have if you're flying this mode 2, which is obviously a mode 2 drone, you've got up and down, your you got forwards, backwards, left and right. You then have lights, so you can turn the lights on and off on the drone. You have a landing button and a takeoff button, so it has got auto takeoff and auto land. A stop will actually stop it. Um, you've got a calibrate button and a on and off switch here. I don't know what these buttons do here. You've got circle fly, return to home, headless mode and speed. So headless mode means whatever orientation, whatever you're pressing forward. So if you press forward on your stick, and you've got the quad facing this way, it's still going to go forward. It isn't going to go that way, it's going to go that way because you're in headless mode. In, in normal mode, when you did that, it would obviously shoot that way. I do not like headless mode. I do not recommend anybody to try learning with it. It's bloody horrible. And I don't know why drones have it. You have a return to home. This is no GPS. So you return to home, does not return to home. It comes back in your general direction if you're lucky. The circle flyer, the discuss, do the meter around your head, about that. Uh, I only had a quick test of it. Headless mode does work, but as I say I wouldn't use it. You've got twin speeds here on this button. And then you have your video button and your photo button. Okay, so I could not make the other features work at all. So the follow me mode or whatever it care to call itself does not work. The voice recognition does not work. The circle, the, the ones on here did work. So I had circle fly and that, but I couldn't make the other ones work. They're controllable from the app itself, from the Snaptain app. So let me just show you the app real quick. Let's pause it here. Okay, so this is the app. I've actually booted the app up and connected it to the drone, as you will see. Hello, that's me. So it's connected up to the drone. The image quality to the drone is not bad, and the lag isn't horrendous. It's like you'd expect on something like this. So here you can see you've got controls down the side. So you've got gesture control. Again, it doesn't work. There's your follow me mode. So you've got follow me mode there. Gesture control there, headless mode, all the other bits, camera and video settings are here. If you go into this, you have an array of settings, there's your voice control for your microphone, and then you have also parameters you can adjust on here, which is quite nice to be honest. So there is things you can do like reverse the screen and such forth. Right handed modes if you want to fly this, mode one with a phone, with the phone, because this thing will fly with the phone, it'll do nothing for the controller. And then play brings you, you're not going to play a video, you're actually going to go into the app. Take a couple of seconds and it will boot into your camera image. So the apps are quite a standard affair. If you've seen any, flown any of these before, or you've seen any of these type of quads before, it's just a standard app. And the app looks like that when you've downloaded it. It's that one. It's a Snaptain Mate. I've actually put this on the other phone, I don't, only because I will never fly it again. So I thought I'd bang it on there. So... In conclusion, so what you're going to get is a cheaply constructed quad, but it does what it says on the tin if you want it to fly. It flies all right. The video footage you get recorded to your phone is what you get recorded to your phone. It's very low bit rate. Quality is not the best. The controller feels ridiculously cheap, but does what it says on the tin and does appear to work well. If you do want to use the prop guards, these bits of plastic here. Let me try and get that to zoom in. These pop out. And you push your prop guard in. And like I say, you get spare props, charger, charging cable, and another battery. So, what do I think of it? Here's the rant. So, if you can guess the price on this, I'd be shocked. 
I think this is a 35, 34.99 drone all day long and maybe give it 40 quid because it's another battery, even though the battery's a couple of quid. This is £90, £89.99 this is on Amazon. Snap chain 10 to send on, on Amazon as do Holy Stone and Potentic. They're the 10 3 that send on Amazon. They inflate the prices sometimes by a lot, sometimes not too bad. The, what they rely on these people is the fact that you can get the drone next day in your country. So I uh, this came to me and I actually ordered it but I didn't pay for it and I got it the next day. Great, that works. And that's it, that's good. But Ninety pounds. If I were the company like Snapchat and Amazon, because I'm including this in it, I feel guilty for ripping someone off that badly. They've marked this up at least double what it's what it's worth. This is not worth forty five quid. This is like I said before, a thirty nine ninety nine drone tops. The optical flow makes it worth any more money. Well, not really, because it hardly works. It certainly won't work in anything above a two mile an hour breeze. It'll just move. It's just. There's nothing actually wrong with this drone, apart from the fact it doesn't do what it says in the box, but hey, they never do. They're never going to have these features that they say they're going to have because they're not going to work. Not at that money and not with this kind of price point and not with this type of quality. It's your typical cheap Chinese drone. I've actually reviewed one of these before or something that looked very, very similar. I can't remember what one it was, but it did have the optical flow on the bottom and it was 29 quid. Yeah. Well, if you think optical flow is worse... 60 quid that doesn't even work properly by all means buy one i would not recommend this to my worst enemy not at that price if you could pick this up for 40 quid go ahead and buy it because it's a cheap beginner's drone that actually does do supposedly what it says on the tin apart from the features but as for flying and making a, a a watchable recording back to your phone then it does do that what it doesn't do is all the other stuff it says but like I said, you shouldn't expect that. If you're buying one of these drones and you're paying 50, 60 quid for it and you're going to expect all them features to work, you're going to be sadly mistaken because it's just not going to do it. This has even got brushed motors. It's 2020, we shouldn't be having brushed motors anymore. Even on these cheap Choi drones, there's a lot of stuff out there now that's brushless. For this kind of money, you can get yourself something far, far better. For £90, if you shop about, you're going to find something much better than this. And like I say, this is absolutely appalling that they can charge 90 quid for this. If you buy one of these and you've bought one, well, please don't take it that I'm just being harsh about the drone you bought. What I'm noticing the problem with the drone you bought at all, what the problem is you paid 90 quid for it. Shop around, look and watch some YouTube videos. If you see something that's 90 pound on on Amazon, watch the videos. There's, there is videos around for this. I see loads of them. Watch the videos. Is it worth the ninety quid you're going to pay for it? The problem isn't the drone. The problem is the cost and the ridiculous amount of profit that someone's making out of this. I know that they have to pay a premium to sell on their to sell on Amazon site, but it isn't that kind of money. So Amazon are making a lot of money on there, and you can tell they are when they'll drop. This will drop probably. I don't know. This is probably something you'll find on Black Friday for like 50 quid. And then if you want to buy it, I still wouldn't at 50, but at least it's a drone. You can give your kids, you can learn to fly on it, just don't fly in any kind of wind. So if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe. If you're a regular subscriber already, please hit that like button and don't forget to share this video. Thanks ever so much for watching, but the biggest message I can give to you all at the minute is stay safe. It's not good what's going on in the world at the minute and just stay safe and keep your family safe. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.